Good morning, Corndale kids, and welcome back to another Thursday devotional. I am blessed to be able to come before you today and open up the Word of God with you to see what the Lord would have for us to learn as we come before Him. We're going to jump right in today to 1 Samuel chapter 12, looking at verse 24. So if you don't already have your Bibles, go and get them and open them up to 1 Samuel chapter 12. It's towards the beginning of your Bibles, right? There's Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, and 1 Samuel. And once you're there, let me know by starting up the video again. Follow along with me as I read verse 24. Only fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart, for consider what great things he has done for you. To better understand this passage, we need some context. Samuel was a prophet during the time of the Bible, and Samuel was speaking to the people of Israel, giving them instruction. Samuel, when he was talking to the people, recounted or reminded the people of their history and how God had saved them from Egypt. Then the people had forgotten about God. Eventually they would cry out to him and God would save them from the trouble they were in. The cycle would repeat again and again. The people of Israel sinned yet again by asking God to give them a king because God was supposed to be the king of the people of Israel. They realized what they did was wrong, so they asked Samuel to pray for him. Samuel agreed to this. Then he spoke to the people to encourage them that the Lord would not forsake or leave his people and that they were to only fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart, for consider what great things he has done for you. So what does this mean? What does it mean to fear the Lord? What does it mean to serve him faithfully with all your heart? What does it mean to consider the great things that the Lord has done for us? Those are some great questions and I'm so glad you asked. Only fear the Lord. What do you think it means to fear the Lord? Does it mean that we're afraid and scared of the Lord? No. When the Bible talks about fearing the Lord, it's talking about having a deep respect or reverence for him. That we stand in admiration and respect before God. So fearing the Lord means that we have a strong respect and admiration of him. Serve him faithfully with all your heart. What does it mean to be faithful and to serve him faithfully? Go ahead and answer that question with whoever you're with. What does it mean to serve the Lord faithfully? Do you have your answers? I know you all had a lot of great answers. Serving the Lord means doing what he tells us to do, like obeying your parents, telling others about him, showing love to those around us, and so much more. And doing that faithfully means that we are supposed to do that all the time. Now where do we go to find out how we're supposed to live our lives and what we're supposed to do? That's right, the Bible. Lastly, we are to consider the great things that he has done for us, or we are to remember all that the Lord has done and is currently doing in our lives. It is a great practice to remember what the Lord has done for us. It helps us to appreciate the Lord more and helps us to remember in the hard times that the Lord is always there with us. So what are we supposed to do? Only fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. For consider what great things he has done for you. 1 Samuel 12, 24. Or we could say that we are supposed to have admiration and respect for God and to do what the Bible says at all times and to remember all that the Lord has done for us. Now I encourage you to continue pondering this as we move into the action steps listed in the description of this video, and see you next time.